Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Linux lovers and everyone around the world. My name is Walid Hassan and here is my next video in Linux Capsules channel. We are starting with the first capsule, access a Linux server, commands, commands and some more commands. Section 2, commands. Let's fly now through something called commands. What is the command line? A command line is a text-based interface which can be used to input instructions to a computer system. The Linux command line is provided by a program called the shell. The default shell for users in Red Hat Enterprise Linux is the GNU Born Again shell. In short, Bash, which is an improved version of Born Shell, in short, SH. When a shell is used interactively, it displays a string when it is waiting for a command from the user. This is called the shell prompt. Let me open a terminal to show you the shell prompt. I will open Linux Capsule 1 machine, log in with the password, right click on the desktop, open terminal. As you can see, this is the shell prompt. When a regular user starts a shell, the default prompt ends with a dollar sign character. This character. The dollar sign is replaced by a hash if the shell is running as the super user root. I will switch to super user root. Now the default prompt changed from dollar sign to hash. Exit. Back to normal user. The bash shell is similar in concept to the command line interpreter found in recent Windows versions CMD. That one. It is also similar to Windows PowerShell in Windows Server. 2008 R2. Users access the base shell through a terminal. A terminal provides a keyboard for user input and a display for output. This is called the terminal. I will exit. I will do right click on the desktop and as you can see you can open the terminal here using open terminal option. This is called the terminal. Another way to access a shell is from a virtual console. A Linux machine's physical console supports multiple virtual consoles, which act like separate terminals. Each virtual console supports an independent login session. Access a text login prompt on a virtual console by holding Ctrl Alt and pressing a function key F2 through F6. Press Ctrl Alt F1 to return to the first virtual console and the graphical desktop. I will now press Ctrl Alt F2 to go to another login session. Now I can log into this session using my normal username, password. Now I have a separate independent login session. To return to the desktop or the virtual console and the graphical desktop, I can press Ctrl. Alt F1 to 
return back to the virtual console, the second one. Control Alt F2. I can press Control Alt F3 to open another virtual console. Control Alt F4, another one. And so on to return to the login session in the graphical desktop. Control Alt F1. Now let's talk about some shell basics. Commands entered at the shell prompt have three basic parts. Command to run, the program to run, options to adjust the behavior of the command. It might start with one or two dashes. Arguments which are typically targets of the command. For example, as you can see, I have typed a command called ls, which is used to list files and directories under the current directory domain. The command itself is ls. The options here is dash l. The arguments here is empty. Let's try that command. I will try it again with the argument desktop, this first directory. As you can see, the command option displays something, and the command, then the option, and the argument display something else. Here we use ls, we were listing the current working directory content. Later when we provided desktop as an argument we were listing the content of that directory.